We go to the second half of the annual mascot game. It's 2-0 after 20 minutes of basketball. So we've mercifully shortened the second half to just two minutes. Let's take a look at our first half highlight. The Quinnipiac Bobcat with the only points of the game. Hope you like defense. This is second half action. Lucas the Stag battling against Petey the Golden Griffin. Those two have gone at it all afternoon long. The Golden Griffin, oh my! Oh, the humanity! Lucas the Stag lost his head. I hope we never have to see that again. Let's take a look at the replay. You see Petey the Golden Griffin, an aggressive dribble, and Lucas the Stag trying to get the block, and oh my. Oh, I hope you're not squeamish back at home. Somehow, Lucas though, He's gonna stay in this game. Very loose concussion protocol in the mascot basketball league. Lucas the Stag, a little worse for wear with the turnover. The Valley Cat driving left post, the layup good. And we've got a tie game with just 12 seconds remaining. See the Valley Cat, traditionally a baseball player, goes with the granny style scoop shot and we're all tied up. High drama inside the Times Union Center. Time winding down. Peter the Peacock works the ball to Frankie the Fox. Frankie pressured by AJ the Bronc, coughs it up. Ball's taken by the Valley Cat. Tries to return it to AJ the Bronc, but unable to as the St. Bernard on his home floor with a chance to beat the buzzer. A real Euro step from midcourt for the win. Not even close. The mascot game ends in a 2-2 tie. Let's go down to our courtside reporter, the always well-dressed Jeff Brolt with post-game thoughts from Frankie the Fox and AJ the Bronc. Thanks, Jeff. And might I say, a great job as always. I'm joined by Frankie the Fox postgame. Frankie, 2-2 two, two tie, your team unable to get the victory. Is that disappointing? Are you worried that you've spent so much energy out there in the mascot game that you won't have anything left for the semifinal dance-off? What moves are you planning to break out later this afternoon? Tough to top, let's bring in A.J. the Bronc. A.J. the Bronc in this mascot game did not score as most of his counterparts did. Do you feel the lack of opposable thumbs really hurt your ability to put the ball in the basket? Now we saw you out there pre-game with some warm-up dance moves. Did you spend too much energy in the pre-game, didn't have enough left for the game? I know that you go into an off-season now where you're going to hopefully negotiate a new contract. Do you think your performance today will hurt your earnings potential in the mascot basketball league? AJ the Bronc, all about that paper. Mascot game ends in a 2-2 tie. We're back after this on the Red Fox Network.